Viking, and its important role in economic recovery. The new normal demands social distancing, that requires maintaining a distance of at least one meter between you and others. But with our current public transportation systems, it is not possible to have an uncrowded commute. As the country slowly reopens most of its essential businesses, the government mandated reduction in capacity of public vehicles. Viking is beginning to transform its role to an essential and safer alternative to the public transportation. With limited availability of public transportation and people beginning to move around to places, Viking serves as stimulus to economic activities on streets, commercial areas, and reopening of business operations. Biking thus is a practical means of transportation, with no fuel and transport fare cost. Also, biking is a good muscle workout and unlike other sports, it does not require high levels of physical skill. It also improves posture and coordination and strengthen our bones. Biking is also good for the environment since it is a low carbon transport. Per kilometer driven per person, carbon dioxide released for a car as a mode of transit is 271 grams and 101 grams for a bus. While when you ride a bicycle, your carbon dioxide emission contribution is only 16 grams, which is basically, your food intake and its energy that you consumed for pedaling a kilometer distance. With all the benefits of biking and its potential in stimulating our economy, does our current transport infrastructure encourages the shift to this mode of transport? So how can the government encourage more of the public to shift to biking as their mode of transport? Safe bike lanes. This mode of transport will never be widely adopted in the absence of safer biking networks. Setting up of bike only, or walk and bike only roads. And of course, parking availability. However, we are still facing challenges like prolonged exposure to possible risks such as speeding vehicles and pollution. Thus, speed limits, strategic public transport stops, and bike-friendly roads and traffic policies should be put into place. It may be a long way to go. But maybe a transport policy with comfort as its main core will lead to a more sustainable transport system.